guys welcome back to bougie doll life my name is katrina and today we're going to look at this barbie sports sled doll i found her in target by accident and i was like wow look at this doll she has the christy face that i grew up on i grew up on two christy faces it's this one right here and i'll put the other one in the corner of the screen and i absolutely fell in love with her when i saw her there were only two of her left on the shelf at target by my house and i was just obsessed go ahead and get her open and check out what she's looking like on the inside of the box all right open her up let's get into her box art now look at this box art i i love it i think for the first time i might keep a box well i keep the box art for them at fashionistas because it doesn't come out so i keep it but i love the box art and look at the back she's like on a sled and like a ski trip it's so cute i i just had to get it when I saw her, I thought she was so adorable that I couldn't deny her. So, and she's part of the youth Barbie, you could be anything line, and she's so adorable. Let's go ahead and get her open. Okay, so this is her straight out of the box, and I absolutely love her. Look at her outfit. Okay, first of all, well, look at this beanie. Like she had, like look at the detail of this beanie. It's so cute. It has a little tab right there, but I'll take that off later. So she's wearing like this ski outfit. Like at first off, her face drew me to her when I first seen her in the store. And I love how they made the eyebrows a little thicker. I do love that. A lot of the collector dolls I have has this face mold. This scarf. It kind of reminds me the feel of the Barbie robe. So yeah, I just took it off the tab. So let's take this off of her so we can look at her outfit so it's a one piece and this print is so beautiful to me and it goes all the way around like it's kind of like a romper and let me show you guys the back of it back of it and it pretty much goes all the way down and it velcros in the back and oh my god look at her hair her hair goes down to the bottom of her back right here at the end of her her tailbone and i really like the way she looks she looks so stunning and let's see how she looks without the beanie this is her without the beanie and i'm like i'm just so in love with this doll like if you guys know i have flipping christy that i showed you guys before i don't think i have that video up anymore but i'll show you a picture of flipping christy in the corner of the screen so i was gonna take flipping christy and put her on a made to move body but now I have a doll that's articulated. She's not fully articulated. She doesn't have the shoulder joint and she doesn't have the foot joint. And while we're at her feet, let's go ahead and look at her boots. So you guys see these pink boots? Like these are gorgeous. I'm gonna bend her knee a little bit so you guys can see. And it has a little like fuzz on it. I love it. It's, it's so cute and it's just, so a lot of the winter outfits don't really draw my attention, but this one did. And I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. And we're going into fall, so I feel like this is a perfect doll to add to your collection. And you know, the articulation she has, she, like I said, she doesn't have the shoulder joint, but she does have the elbow joint, she does have the wrist joint, and she does have the knee joint. So that's the articulation, and then she has the articulation of the head all the way around. So she has that, and then there's no pixelation. Her face print is superb like a one okay and she retailed for twenty dollars and she's so nice and she's new at target so you guys get your hand get your hands on her because this face mold i'm telling you right now it's gonna sell okay because this face mold is not a new face mold and a lot of people like to collect this one because for me a lot of the dolls like because this is my era like, this is around the time when i was a little girl people that are around this era that I like to collect and once they see this doll i feel like they're gonna be so in love and i can't wait to take pictures of her and she's so cute and then let me show you her accessories so she came with these goggles oh look get into these goggles and they adjust in the back and they're gonna they go on the front i'm gonna put a picture of her with the goggles and the corner of the screen i don't own right to those pictures they're just pictures there are online and this is so cute like i love it i love that it's not glasses i love that it has like an actual snap back in the back and if you live in the snow or if you go on a snow trip you can take a sled with her it comes with a sled and the sled says barbie now i'm usually like i try to be more like neutral colors and things like that and changing but this type of stuff i like to keep it pink because for me personally if i was going on a ski trip i would like a pink sled to be honest with you and then it has the little barbie holder right here to hold her onto the sled i love that 
and then a bee on the side and I showed you guys before and it has like snowflakes on the corners of the sled. This is just such a nice doll to add to your collection. So I'm happy to have this doll in my collection and look at her lip color. I love that and she's showing a little bit of teeth and look at her eyebrows. Like her eyebrows look good. It looks really good. I love this. And I like her lashes. She just and she has a side part if you guys are wondering. And let's look at the rooting pattern of her hair. Let's look at the rooting. So she does have a full head of hair. It does have layers. Like you know how most dolls do. Like out of the box she has layers. And she has a little crimp right here out of the box from her beanie. But it's okay because a little bit of water I think she'll be fine. I don't even think she needs a hot boil rinse because there's no product on her hair. Her hair is soft so I'll just put a little bit of water a little bit of mousse. And they'll straighten it down. So I'm so happy that I could take photos of this face mold. You guys don't understand. Like I was, I was the back and forth with whether or not to take a 90 doll and put her on a made move body. Because the thing is, I like to cherish my dolls that I have from childhood that I, I have resurfaced and I buy them. So I'm happy to find her. You guys don't understand. Like this girl stopped me in my tracks. And then back to these shoes, like. And if you guys don't like all, all the pink, you, you can always paint it with acrylic paint and make sure you just put it on top of my Posh. But yeah, she's cute. And I love her hair. It's so adorable. Like, she has like layers. Like, the front part is a little shorter than the back. Like, her hair is cut in layers. And so, yeah, I just want to give her like a nice little wash and take some cute pictures of her. Well, I want to know in the comments down below since this was one of the staple like dolls I had when I was younger let me know what year of Barbie was your favorite year and let me know in the comments down below so we can have a conversation you know because I love talking to you guys and I love when you guys give these comments and I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys give to my channel and I love sharing my dolls with you guys and the love I have for them and those of you that follow me on Instagram I love sharing my photography it gives me so much joy to share my love for dolls with you guys and i just want you to know that i appreciate every single one of you so meet christy because that's how i'm like since, since i know her as christy i believe her name is christy so you guys meet christy and i'm so happy to have her in my collection don't forget to comment like share and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos from me and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.